guys, my name is Katie, or KB Does Art, and I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, someone asked me to make a tutorial for a wine glass, so I thought I would go ahead and just create one uh, real quick, because this should be a real quick tutorial, so I thought I'd just upload it for fun. Uh, but I'm going to create this using a cylinder, so go ahead and grab a cylinder, and then I'm just going to move it up above our ground here. Next, hold shift and right click and grab that multi-cut tool. Then I'm going to hold control so we get this nice little ring. And then I'm going to make a line down here and a line up here just by clicking my left mouse button. And then go ahead and go into vertex mode. And we want to take these vertices and bring them on up. Uh, this is going to be about the height of your uh, glass. And then let's take these vertices, make sure you got them all, and we'll take these down to be the size of the cup. Next, what we want to do is go into face mode and select these middle faces. Do control E, and we're going to down the thickness on them to make that stem. And you can make it however thick or thin you would like. Next, I'm going to go back into vertice mode. Uh, and then I'm going to move these guys up just to make it a little bit longer. And then I kind of feel like I should scale them down just a bit to kind of make that like a bit more of a rounder shape like that. Uh, this could also be the same process if you were doing like a champagne glass. You could like elongate it and make it really thin. Um, but that can kind of be up to just whatever shape you want to make your wine glass. Go ahead and select these top faces and delete them. So our object should look uh, hollow at this point. And then select the whole object and do control E to extrude it. And then we want to either uh, push the thickness in. So you can do it like that. Don't go too far. I'm going to go a little bit further. Maybe like just under 0.2. All right, so now you can see our uh, faces are going the wrong way. Basically, like our mesh is turned inside out. So what you want to do is you want to go to Mesh Display and click Reverse. All right, and then click on your object and press 3 to see how it is turning out. So mine is like a little thin right now. So uh, for that, you can just select this row of vertices and this row of vertices. All right, so I'm going to take these guys. I'm going to select, uh, to select these guys, I would just click and drag. And then this one, uh, I would hold tab, click one, and double click the next to go like that. And then click R, and we just scale it up. And then you can even like make it smaller too, like that. All right, there we go. So that looks pretty good. We can bevel some edges real quick. I would take this edge this edge, this inside edge, um, this little edge right here. Uh, all you need to do is just hold shift or hold tab and uh, double click on all those guys. Do control B to bevel it. And then you can either give it one segment or two. Might just depend. All right, these guys will need to fix. which we should be able to fix by, so click one, double click the next, click one, double click the next. And then if you scale them up, you'll see that they um, are now the correct size. And we can do the same on this side. So we'll take these guys and then these you'll scale down. All right, I'm gonna take these guys and just scale them up a little bit to give it a little bit more flair at the bottom. You can also take this uh, edge and we can scale that down like a little bit like this. And then I'm just gonna edit some of these edges. I'm gonna move this one up a little bit, just like that. And then uh, this edge, I think I'd like to move up a bit. So I would double click that and just like move them up. 
And you can do the same with this one. Just move them up slightly. You could also take these vertices and we can even like scale some of them down a little bit. Just like make that transition like a little bit more smooth uh, between the stem and the base. But yeah, that's basically the uh, how to make a really quick and easy wine glass. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But that's kind of what I would do. Um, just go from a cylinder and create it like that. And then obviously you can add some like fun details and stuff and you can taper the glass and things like that. Uh, to texture it, I would probably just like throw like a, a clear texture on it, um, which you can change in the transmission, uh, which is right here. And then, I mean, you could give it like a little color tint, like if you want it to be like slightly purple or something or slightly blue. Um, I guess it's kind of up to you. Maybe I'll make mine like a like a goldish orange or something. And then I'll just go ahead and like render that out for you guys so you can kind of see how it looks. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this one was kind of quick and easy. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, go sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already. Uh, I usually just show uh, just like fun tutorials and things like that. And uh, you can go check out my TikTok too where I tend to create a lot of fun just like 3D videos and such. And uh, you guys should enjoy those as well if you are uh, doing anything in the uh, in the 3D world. But uh, yeah, so feel free to uh, like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm just going to finish up this render. I'm going to turn down the roughness a little bit. That'll make it a bit more glossy. If you want it to be kind of more foggy, you'll turn that roughness up. Um, but that is about it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one. So if you guys have any other tutorials that you guys are in need of, let me know. And uh, I'll make sure to add it to my list uh, to make for you guys. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I will see you guys in our next tutorial. Bye, guys.